When a man hasn't explicitly expressed his deep feelings or love for you, it can be incredibly confusing to understand what's really going on. And that can lead you to feel incredibly anxious, not know how to move things forward, and ultimately waste lots of time. So in my video today, I'm gonna be revealing five sharp signs that a guy has hidden feelings for you and what you can do if you want to avoid having to wait indefinitely for his big move. The natural progression when a relationship takes place is you connect with someone and there's, through time, sparks that develop. There's a feeling of connection, intensity, there's flirtatiousness that takes place, and then that increases. There's more emotional connection through time, and eventually, typically him, stands up and says, let's do this, let's make this exclusive. I don't want you connecting with other guys in this way, and I don't want to connect with anyone else this way, so let's make this happen. Now, what happens when the first part takes place, you have that feeling or sensation that he has feelings for you, an excitement that takes place when there's a spark that happens in the air when you're spending time together, but the second part doesn't develop, where he doesn't take the step of saying, let's be exclusive, where he doesn't voice his express feelings of connection or even love with you. It can be very disappointing, it can be very frustrating, and it can lead you to stop connecting with other men and just hold your breath, which is what most women do, until something happens. And you know sometimes that something doesn't happen, and the heartbreak, the longer this goes on, is harder. So my intention behind sharing these five clear signs that a guy has feelings for you, even if he's not expressing them to you, is that you have the courage you need to either inspire the next part of this, which would be the conversations that lead to exclusivity or to something taking place, or that you are self-loving enough to move away from the situation so you can connect with someone who has that level of intensity with you, but also has the clarity that he wants to move things forward and he wants an exclusive relationship with you. The first sign that a guy has deep feelings for you and he's hiding them is the way he looks at you the way he lights up when he connects with you, his body language, his level of presence. It's incredibly hard to hide when you have feelings for someone based on the way your eyes light up when you see that woman, based on the way your body language changes when you're in connection with this person, based on the level of presence that he has. Men tend to be more present, meaning they can cut out BS from around them and can really focus on a conversation, can really focus on quality of time spent together when they really feel something for someone. This is one of those times where I'm gonna ask you to trust your intuition. When the guy is looking at you a specific way, when the guy is connecting with you with a specific type of energy, he might deny it in words, but make no mistake that he has feelings for you. The second sign that a guy has deep feelings for you and he's hiding them is that the intensity and the flirtatiousness beyond the presence, the flirtatiousness of the time spent together becomes clearer and clearer through time. That means he's going to banter more with you, find excuses to touch you, find excuses to be closer to you, to spend time with you that goes beyond the mundane. There's a special quality in the conversations, there's a special quality in the way he reaches out to you, and the frequency sometimes also increases. The more he feels for you, the more flirtatiousness he'll become with you. And the flirtatiousness doesn't have to be overt, but you can definitely sense when a guy is sharing in a way that is beyond just, you're my buddy, but there's something happening inside of him. He's feeling more alive as a result of connecting with you. The third one is he's going to find an interest in your inner world. The conversations are going to go from, how's your day going, to going deeper, understanding where you are, getting a sense of how you make decisions, why you make decisions. That's the emotional connection part of the whole thing. When a guy has feelings for you, he's going to be more interested in getting to know the intricacies of you, your inner world, the map of how you view things, and he's also going to start sharing more of that inner world with you. When a guy has that quality of asking for more in terms of who you are, what you're about, and he starts sharing with more vulnerability, that's also a sign that the guy is developing feelings for you or has deep feelings for you already. The fourth one is he's going to find excuses to spend time with you or be around you. He'll make up excuses to be with you. He'll make up excuses to invite you to do different things. Maybe not explicitly saying this is a date, but definitely making sure that you're there. He will notice that he goes out of his way sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, but he goes out of his way sometimes to be close to you, to even start serving you, to start doing things that matter to you, 
to start doing things that mean something to you, that alleviate the pain in your life, that make your life easier in some way. Fifth sign, which is a telltale sign, and guys who even want to hide around from this are full of BS, is he gets slightly jealous when you bring about other men. I'm not saying he, he becomes enraged, that would be a controlling freak, but he starts getting jealous when, when he notices that, that there's somebody else around you, which is a man, he wants to figure out what's going on, he wants to be present, he wants to show himself to be someone in your orbit, and he may even ask you about him. He might even get serious when, when you bring somebody else up and you can sense that there's a feeling of disconnection or even slight jealousy when other men are in question. Now, before I go on and go deeper into what do you do with this and the types of men that you need to contend with, if you're a single woman watching this, and you have not been able to enter a relationship despite your intelligence, despite your looks, despite being a great catch, then most likely you don't understand the true reason why you're still single. And what I've done is I've taken over 12 years of helping women find love in multiple continents, age groups, and love challenges, and put them in a simple quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. And if you wanna take it, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description, you will see a page that looks like this, answer a few simple questions and in 60 seconds you'll have the answer to the question why you're still single and a report that's going to show you based on your specific blind spot what's the number one thing you can do starting today to reverse this trend and attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. So what to do now? Now you identify that many of the signs that I'm sharing are clear for you and the guy's still not taking action, and it's not just a fresh new situation, but it's been some time. There's gonna be three types of guys, and you need to pay attention to this because the penny upon where he's at is what you need to do. First type of guy is gonna be a guy that is shy, but he wants a relationship, and given the right situation and environment, he'll take the necessary steps to be in a relationship with you and move things forward. Guy number two is gonna be a guy who is insecure, maybe, but also doesn't really know what he wants. He's confused. And as I've shared in multiple videos before, a confused guy sometimes is more dangerous than a guy who's mean, because a guy who's mean, you'll recognize early on, a guy who's confused could drag you along for months or years. He enjoys your company, he enjoys your connection, but doesn't really know that he wants a relationship, doesn't really know that he wants you to be the one who enters that relationship with him. Guy number three is a guy who knows he's not on a stage in his life where he can enter a relationship, where he doesn't really want something serious, but he enjoys your company, he enjoys your energy, he enjoys the connection that you have, and is unlikely to bring about a conversation around it. Why? Because bringing it would mean that you'll recognize this guy doesn't want anything in the future, and therefore, I'm gonna stop connecting with him. What do you do to make something happen when nothing's happening? You need to make a decision that taking the risk of having clear conversations with him is less risky than doing what you've been doing so far. Because whatever you've been doing has led to some confusion, and having the vulnerability and the courage which is required to have conversations that are challenging will be the life-saving fuel that this relationship needs to move forward or what you need to safeguard your heart, move along and connect with someone who wants to give you what you're worth. The first thing I suggest doing is bringing about conversations, open-ended conversations that lead the man to share more about what he's really about right now, what he envisions for his life, what he's looking for in a relationship and even just the question what are you looking for in a relationship will bring about if the guy doesn't want a relationship, he'll share some clear signs that he's not looking or he's confused. Uh, what is he looking for in a woman? Ultimately, if those conversations don't lead him to the being clear about what's happening between both of you, then you would need to take the most courageous act, which is to be vulnerable enough to say, it seems to me like there's a lot of sparks between us, I could be wrong. I just want to bring about a conversation to figure out if you feel that's true. Two things will happen. He'll either say, yes, it's true, or he'll deny it. He, if he denies it, it doesn't mean it's not happening. It just means he doesn't have what it takes to have that conversation, or he doesn't have what it takes to be in a relationship. The reason why you look at the signs is because you're clear that the guy has feelings for you. Whether he wants to admit it or not, that's a different story. So trust your intuition, have that conversation, and then from that, basically, if the guy agrees that there's sparks going on, then say, do you have any ideas? What would you like to do with that? Put it back on him. Say, hey, I, I have feelings for you. The, the, this is mutual. What do you see as possibilities? What would you like to have happen? And again, is it easy to bring these conversations? No, but it's far easier to bring these conversations than to go down a path of 
years of not getting what you want, years of disappointment, years of heartbreak, years of not connecting with other men who could actually give you what you're looking for if you only have two minutes of courage to bring about a conversation like this. Now, through these conversations, a guy will reveal himself to be of the, I'm shy, but I really want this. I not know what I want, or I don't want this, but I really enjoy connecting with you. If he's of the first guy, then conversations will continue leading to something stronger. And you will know that something stronger is happening because he'll step up and basically ask for exclusivity. If two or three are taking place, you need to take a break. You need to let the guy have some time for himself. I'm not saying never see him again. I'm saying don't enable more of this behavior. If the guy doesn't know what he wants, but he really enjoys connecting with you, at the risk of you feeling like you'll never find a guy this special again, you need to give him the space he needs to feel the pain of your absence so he rekindles the ability to say, you know what, I'm gonna step up and do this, or he comes clean and says, despite missing you, I can't do this with you. Either way, you'll get more clarity and you'll get more of what you want. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, it would mean a lot to me and to my channel if you click like and subscribe. <laughs> and if you want to learn how to attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure you go to this next video right here.